everyone. Today we'll be installing WordPress on our Namecheap hosting account. We've already opened the welcome email and we'll begin by clicking on the link for the cPanel. We'll log in and here you can see the Namecheap cPanel. We'll scroll down to software services and click on the icon for Softaculous. Here you can see the Softaculous apps installer. We'll go to WordPress and click on the install button. And here you can see the form we'll need to complete in order to install WordPress. We'll begin with a selection of a protocol. The default here, HTTP, is fine. There are other versions available should you require them. Choose Domain. The domain name is correct. In Directory, this is an important selection as this tells WordPress where to install in what folder. As we will be using WordPress as the content management system for the entire website, we'd like to install it in the root directory so we will delete the WP. Doing this will ensure that WordPress is the content management system for not only the entire site but the home page as well. Database name, the default here is fine. Table prefix, the default is fine. Site name, we'll name our site NCM test site. Site description, we'll use test site for name cheap. Enable multi-site as we only require one installation of WordPress. We're going to leave that unchecked. Admin username, the default here is fine. Admin password, We'll paste a secure password here. Admin email. The default is fine. Select language. English is fine. Limit login attempts. This is an excellent plugin I highly recommend. It helps to thwart hackers. So we will check that off. Next, we'll take a look at the advanced options. Disable update notifications. We're going to leave that unchecked as we would like to be informed when there is an update available. Auto upgrade, we'll check that off. That'll save time. Auto upgrade WordPress plugins, we'll check that off as well. Auto upgrade WordPress themes, we'll check that off. Automated backups, we'll select once a week. Backup rotation, this is the number of backups that are kept on the server. Four is fine. The next step is to select a theme. As we will be using this site only for testing purposes, we'll leave the default theme. Next, we'll click the Install button. And as you can see, WordPress is installing. And the message tells us that the software was installed successfully. Next, we'll click on the link and log into our new WordPress site. And here you can see our new WordPress dashboard. From here we can control all aspects of our WordPress site. To create a new post, we simply go to plus, new, post. Enter a title for our post. Enter the content and click the publish button. But we won't be creating a new post today. We'll simply take a look at our new site 
by using the Visit Site link at the top of the dashboard. And here you can see that WordPress has been successfully installed. This is our new WordPress site. This is the default Hello World post. We can delete that using the WordPress dashboard. We can also change the appearance of the site by selecting a different theme and that can also be accomplished using the WordPress dashboard. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and invite you to visit NCM online for web hosting reviews, coupon codes, and more.